the dumbest laws in every state you can still get busted for. In North Dakota, it's illegal to lie down and fall asleep with your shoes on, though whether this is in private or public, the law doesn't say. It also doesn't say if it would be legal to sleep in public with your shoes off. In Ohio, every operator of an underground coal mine must provide an adequate supply of toilet paper for each toilet. While this kind of makes sense, there are a lot more questions than answers. Like what is an adequate supply? What happened to make this a law? And what is going on in Ohio's coal mines? The state statute in Oklahoma still says it is a fact that there exists an internal communist conspiracy. Such a conspiracy constitutes a clear and present danger to the government of the United States and to the state. If you're traveling with bottled pee in Oregon, you cannot throw it out of your vehicle or leave it on the side of the road. This is a class A misdemeanor. The same is true for fecal matter, which leaves us with a similar question that we had for Ohio. What is going on with Oregon? And why do you have fecal matter in a container that you're throwing out your car window? In addition, you can also be fined for leaving your car door open for too long. This is something that has to do with cyclists being annoyed by car drivers, which isn't as uncommon as you think it is. However, how long you can actually leave your car door open for is unclear. Human trafficking is a serious issue, not just in Pennsylvania or the States, but around the world. However, Pennsylvania felt the need to make it a misdemeanor to attempt to order or sell a baby, Though whether this is in addition to other charges or a standalone charge, the law doesn't seem clear on. What makes this law weird isn't that you can't buy or sell babies, that's being a decent person. What makes it weird is that it's a misdemeanor. You cannot, I repeat, cannot bite off someone's limb in Rhode Island. So take note, if you do bite off someone's limb in Rhode Island, you're looking at one to 20 years worth of prison time and a huge mouth because that seems difficult to accomplish with a human-sized mouth. That is, unless you're part of a zombie horde. In South Carolina, a male over the age of 16 can't seduce a woman by falsely promising to marry her. However, a woman could falsely seduce a male by promising to marry him. In either case, a man found guilty will be charged with a misdemeanor and possibly fined or imprisoned for no more than one year. In South Dakota, every hotel must have twin beds two feet apart and thou shalt not make love between the beds, which is fair because they did give you two beds. In Tennessee, they have a law for teachers that prohibits talking about the gateways to sex. This gateway includes things like kissing and holding.